Hello and welcome to Jedi Jingle Maker. This is my YouTube channel where I share with you my love of music. Let's go into the Jedi Jingle Maker studio where the magic happens. First things first, if you have a guitar and you're going to work on it at all, or you have more than one guitar and you're going to work on them, you want some kind of mat to lay it on. This was an absolute game changer for my ability to deal with these guitars in a fun way. I love to modify guitars. Let's take a look at this in the natural light. This guitar has a beautiful veneer burl veneer on it which I particularly love this because it had the six knobs in it but that was really cool but the finish the work they do on that is amazing to me and you can feel it's got texture on it it's like a, a satin finish which is very comfortable to play with and I think looks absolutely striking. Each one of these is original. I ended up getting this on Guitar Center so I could pick out the one I really wanted and I couldn't resist it when I saw this one. There was no way I could allow this to be snatched up. <laughs> I had to get it and I'm so glad that I did. This was about a $400 guitar and I still think you can get them for about $400. Now first of all I want to give you my opinion on would I recommend this guitar and it is an absolute yes. With no hesitation, I would recommend this guitar. It is a solid, in my belief, platform for modification, and it has all the feel and look of an RG, part of a long line of Ibanez guitars over the years with various model names. But this gives you the entire Ibanez feeling, which is, I think, just a little bit wider neck, very thin, flat fretboard, just made for speed, incredibly fast neck, that cool Ibanez look and craftsmanship that's pretty uniform. I mean, the fret ends are good. Everything seems to be outstanding for a guitar of this value, it seems like. And yeah, you can see a couple little imperfections. I don't sweat that as long as it plays and feels good. So that's not been a problem for me. I think Ibanez is known for making great quality guitars. And I like the, the way it came initially, which is with these stock pickups. They sound great but they're not going to sound nearly as good as what I'm going to replace them with. And we'll talk about some of the mods. Stay tuned to the channel, by the way, to see all these modifications occur. Let's turn, let's turn this beautiful thing over. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that neck. I believe it's a three piece neck. Now I upgraded these tuners from the stock tuners. So these are not the stock. These are Goto locking tuners that I put onto this guitar. I'm very happy with, by the way. My answer is a resounding yes. I would absolutely recommend this guitar. It's an incredible value for the price. And if you're like me, you like to modify your guitars and make them better and better and better and make them your own custom thing that is exactly what you want. Well, this provides that opportunity for me. It's good enough that it's great out of the box, but you can just build on it and make it so much better. And you can see this journey has already started for me with those beautiful Goto Japanese locking tuners on this thing, already improving it greatly. 
another modification that I've made so far is that I had this replaced with a graphite nut. So, you know, those two changes make this with its fixed bridge a very stable platform for tuning, which I love. We've got a lot of temperature variations, so that causes some tuning problems and humidity variations and all that. But as far as what I can control, those two changes are game changers. Those are first priority type of changes. Now I got the tuning stability exactly where I want it. The neck already it is already perfect, plays like a dream. Now I can move on to the next phases of modification, which for me are going to be Seymour Duncan Nazgul humbucker in the bridge position and the Seymour Duncan Sentient in the neck position. That's about a little over two hundred dollars cost in pickups and I'll have a I'll have a actual guitar tech install that for me. And I'm also considering having all of the electronics, all of the electronics replaced and upgraded with the best quality possible. Another little change that another little thing I'll do is make sure, and I don't know if it is, I've actually not taken off the plate yet, but uh, make sure that this is all shielded in here and grounded so that it doesn't create noise issues. And uh, actually, you know, if the electronics are decent in here, the, then I might not change it. I'm going to have to wait and see. Another change I'm considering is to go with the Graftech saddles, graphite saddles, or go with the gold saddles. I thought that might look kind of interesting. So I'm probably going to upgrade this bridge. I'm also going to replace the hardware around the pick around the pickups. You know, I do actually like it better when we don't have these boxes, but they save money by putting in this type of setup. So you have to tolerate it. But imagine how this would look if I replace these with gold. Let me know in the comments, by the way, what you think of that. Going with all gold hardware down here, you know, maybe gold knobs too, maybe black knobs. You can have fun like that with this kind of thing. But really, in fact, I might take these pickups and move them over to that Squire Mini, at least one of them, uh, just so I have an interesting setup there. So you never know. But these are coming out and the new Seymour Duncans are going in. And then this thing is going to be a fire breather along with all the other changes. All right, let's talk about all of the specs of this guitar and what it comes with. Now in terms of the neck, that's a Wizard 3 neck, which is a classic shredder neck built for shredding, built for speed, feels like butter. Just wonderful. I give it high, high reviews. And then the body is made out of poplar burl top, which we looked at extensively. And then the Maranti body, which is a type of Indonesian mahogany that is widely used. That makes it fairly light but also a very resonant guitar. I found this to be extremely resonant, extremely fun to play unplugged, which is something I like to have in a guitar. It's also got the jumbo frets. They're not stainless steel or anything, but they are great, very comfortable frets. And let's face it, most everybody in the world that never has to replace their, their frets, so they're perfectly fine. This is a 24 fret guitar with a 25 and a half inch scale, which is a full range Guitar, it's a comfortable scale, meaning that it's going to be comfortable. It is very comfortable to play. The longer the scale, it can make the strings uh, more difficult to fret, etc. So it's really set up with just the right specs from that perspective. Quantum pickups are both ceramic. Those are the stock Ibanez pickups that come with this thing. They're both passive pickups. They're not powered active pickups, but they sound great. I give them a thumbs up all the way. At the end of the video, you can see links to songs where I use this for mostly my lead tracks because I found that these pickups work really well for lead metal solo type stuff. Uh, I've got this strung with nines. I just use the super slinkies. That's, and that seems to work great. They say that the hardware is Cosmo Black, and you can see that it's it's kind of a yeah pewter look almost or something, but shiny. Uh, I like it a lot. I think it looks great, but I am going to upgrade it, like I said. Now, stay tuned also for the video where I show you the things I had to do to install these Goto tuners. They required a little bit of drilling. 
but man, am I so happy. This is a great example of a type of mod just about anybody could do if you're willing to drill some holes in your guitar, <laughs> which I was. I was not willing to replace the nut, which is why I took it to the shop to get this changed. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the Jatoba fretboard. By the way, I like to use these, these muting devices. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description if you're interested, but that's just so strings don't ring out if they're not muted with your palm. And with recording too, you can also put it up on these higher strings to prevent that kind of sound of these strings ringing out as you play chords. That makes a big difference. Let's talk about the fretboard a little bit. This is a Jatoba fretboard. And it's similar to rosewood, but I'd say it's more porous. You can see the pores of the wood a bit. Now I've had this guitar for about three months and used it quite a bit. Uh, one thing I noticed was that uh, there was a little bit of tool marking. It doesn't affect the playability whatsoever, so I'm not sweating it. I've liked the feel of this fretboard very much, and I also love the feel of this neck. And you can see that it, it has the cutaway built for speed contour on the body, which lets you get right up to all the high frets. The feeling on the neck is just flawless. I absolutely love it. This guitar is made in Indonesia, which, wow, they seem to create amazing guitars out of Indonesia. And then, of course, these are Japanese locking tuners from Goto. I always feel like you have got the right stuff if you do that. And it's hard to find all these features that I'm talking about on the same guitar, the, the Nazgul pickups and the Goto tuners and all that. You end up paying a lot of money. There's a chance you could get similar type stuff and pay less money than modifying your guitar over time. But in my opinion, it's more fun to modify it and you can almost never get exactly what you want. So you're not really in the end spending nearly as much as what you would for a custom guitar or custom shop guitar or anything like that. And as long as you have a good base that you're building on, like this RG, I think RGs are great. They go all the way down from 320 bucks, it looks like, all the way up to you know, thousands of dollars. But the ones that are inexpensive, like this one, are still really solid, really, really solid guitars. So you get right in the game with something like this. I totally recommend it. I love my, my Ibanez RG 421 PB, Caribbean Shoreline flat finish, satin beauty, flamethrower. It's amazing. Amazing. Hey, thanks for watching, Jedi Jingle Maker. I hope you've already subscribed. Hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment about anything in this video you are thinking about. Have a great day. Make some music.